Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for August 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th. The night of August 22nd, we enter into Virgo season. Interesting times as always. Earth energy, grounded, money, job, career energy, very much your home, tangible energy here. Now, um, if this is, if you have not watched us before or watched me before, I this is the introduction. It will be tagged onto all of the videos in the beginning. But I put the um, timestamp of when the individual uh, readings begin. So just jump there. I hope you'll watch it at least once. The introduction. Anyway, what I do though is for the main reading, I am going to use my Radley Valentine cards. I will use my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I will pull one from my Guardian Angel Tarot cards. I will also use one from my, I will pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal Deck. And I've started pulling out from Inspirational Wisdom. And this is by, who are you by? Francis Monroe and Judy Mestrangelo. If I said that right, if, if I messed it up, sorry about that, Judy. Now, um, for the main, for this reading, for this introduction, I use my Weight Rider cards and I've used my Colette Baron read the Good Tarot. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. So let's see what we get, what we have going on in the heavens per se. So on the 22nd, the sun or, the, you know, the season of Virgo begins. Virgo, again, is Earth energy. It will happen at 11.16 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, we have some interesting stuff. So here we're in that Earth energy. Now on the 23rd, we have Mercury at 26 degrees in Virgo, trining. And that's a very positive energy. That's, they like each other. They want to work together with each other. Um, so trining with Pluto, which is retrograde at 26 degrees with Capricorn. Again, we have that Earth energy. Then we have on the 24th Uranus, which has been in Taurus. It is going retrograde. And Uranus is, of course, expect the unexpected. Taurus, again, is that Earth energy. Money, job, career, home. Okay, so the first thing that I saw when I saw these, and well, let me go through the rest. We have on August 26, we have Mercury entering Libra, which is air energy. Remember, Mercury is about communications, is about electronics. Then we have the new moon on the 27th in Virgo, and that will be at 4.16 a.m. New moon, so we're right now we're in the waning part of the moon until we get to the new moon. Waning is releasing New moon to full moon is requesting. New moons begin new season. So it's a really good time to manifest new opportunities. So on the 27th again, we have Mars, which is the god of war in Gemini, that air energy again. So we have Mercury, the communication, very fleet of foot in Libra. Like I said, on the 26th and on the 27th, we have, you know, Mars, um, you know, in god of war in Gemini, which will be squaring, which is, so there's putting pressure on that earth energy, because it'll be squaring, they're both at four degrees, squaring the sun in Virgo. So now, so we got this, so back, going back to the 22nd, or the 23rd, the first thing I thought of, the first thing that came in, and you know that, um, you know, I pray, meditate, infuse the decks with Reiki energy, but I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power, God, Holy Spirit, and whatever comes out, whatever is the thought process, I just let it out. So my first thing is when I'm the 23rd, and I'm thinking, I'm going, I'm going forward, and I'm like, wow, there's, I feel like there could be some really interesting communication issues, um, internet issues, not necessarily like it would be when Mercury goes retrograde. I just felt like, you know, Mercury, again, communication, Virgo, trining with Pluto. Pluto is about destruction and rebuilding. That's in Capricorn. So I, kind of, I just felt like there could be some internet issues. There could be some cellular phone issues, something like that for this whole week, actually. And then we go into the air energy where we have Mars, God of War, in Gemini, squaring with Virgo. So they're not necessarily squaring with the sun in Virgo. So they're not necessarily best buds at this time. And I've talked about Mars and Gemini. Now, on the 28th of August, we have Venus 
20 degrees in Leo, opposing Saturn, which is retrograde, 24 degrees in Aquarius. I just felt when I saw this, when I was reading this, I just felt like, uh, you know, Venus in Leo was basically telling Saturn in, um, you know, in Aquarius, kind of like, get it done. Come on, stop messing around. You want, you have something to say? Say it. Yeah, so interesting energies. We'll see if there's anything going on in the internet or, you know, in cellular service or something this week. Just felt it. Just felt it. Doesn't mean, hope I'm wrong, but I just want to let that out. So let's see what we've got here. Now, this is more universal um, perspective. What we have from higher power for this week, the 22nd through the 25th. Again, okay, ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, we have three cards that came out. They all flipped over. So I'm not quite sure which one is going to really be the first one if we have the sun. We're just going to lay them out like we do. Anything that is reversed has strong energies. So let's go here. This is reversed. This is the Wheel of Fortune. This is a 10. 10 is about transitional energy. There is a, you know, so this is like things are moving forward. We have the 1. Numbers are very important, so you might want to jot them down. But we have a 1, which is new beginning. 0 is God source energy. Again, 10, let's move. Trans transitional energy. Things are happening, and they usually it's going to go into something that's even better for us. However, we have the Wheel of Fortune, major arcana energy going on here. There, there's just something that, you know, thing, things can't stay the way they are. They have, you know, it's kind of like a make or break moment. And going back to what I was thinking with Mercury and all that stuff, it, it was kind of a make or break. So there, but I still, I do feel that there is going to be a disruption, but this is all part of whatever it is to move things forward. Now, we come to this seven. Seven is a divine number, divine you know, basically, it's a divine umbrella. It's being watched over, um, divine intervention, sometimes divine interference. This is Rod's energy. This is our fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. This is passionate, burning, determined, very, very committed. Think of a fire. Think of a fire that's just really, um, it's burning bright, it's burning hot, and, it, you know, it's very close to going out of control, but it's not quite there. This is about standing firm. This is about holding on. So something's moving forward, but we're also being cautioned, or we're also being told, hold still, hold on. I shouldn't say hold still. Hold fast. Hold fast. Defend, you know, defend your position, you know, however that be. I would say you know, a lot of this would be spiritually. Don't be alarmed so much. Things have to happen the way they happen, okay? So just stand fast, stand still, Again, I don't want to say stand still, but I keep saying it, don't I? And just, again, the whole, the whole thing with is hold fast. There is a defensive energy here, too. There is a defend yourself, but it's also defend your position, okay? But then we come to the sun, and this is a 19 energy. So we have that 1 and that 10 energy again, like this. These are two major arcana energy cards. So this is universal, very big, very positive energies for us. The 9 is, let's wrap it up, you have everything you need. Don't worry about anything. It might feel like it's worrisome, where you have to defend yourself, where you, know, where you have to stand strong and you have to stand firm, but everything is going to work out okay. So we have that. So we have a 19. You add the 1 and the 9 together, it becomes a 10. And again, we go back to the transition. We go back to the 1 new beginnings. So the sun energy, I mean, you know, we here in the northern hemisphere, we are at a time where we're having sunflowers grow, getting ready to harvest the sunflower seeds. If you do that, the sun is doesn't look um, doesn't look threatening, doesn't necessarily smile down on us, but is burning brightly over us. And here's this little one that's just basically, take me as I am. This is who I am. You know, you, it doesn't matter, and there's also a joyfulness with it. So whatever's going on, if we go back to the um, stuff that I was reading, and, you, and again, you tell me. You tell me what you're feeling. But, you know, something is transitioning. It may be problematic. You just have to hold fast, hold firm, and it will. everything will work out the way they're, it's supposed to work out. Now, 
So that's not to, meant to be scary. It's not meant to get you alarmed. It's just when you see it. See, this is, you know, this, this is how this works. Um, you know, when when you hear something and then it comes to pass, it's kind of, it's kind of like, oh, okay, I understand. And like I would say to people that uh, I've done this with is that, you know, this is, tells you that God is in control, Holy Spirit, Source, whoever that is to you. Um, you know, you got the word of it, and then it came to pass, so don't worry about it so much because, you know, um, there is, you know, there is a higher power that is in control, okay? Now, what we have to do is we have to choose whether we're going to have faith in that or not. Anyway, let's see what we've got here, and that card just, ah, I like this, that one just flipped. We have the Ten of Earth. Again, we have that transition energy. And now this is Earth. So this is that Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, which has a lot of energy working right now. Again, it is about our work, job, career. It's the, how, we, how we support ourselves. It's also about our lives. It's about our home. And the Ten of Earth is a very stable home, is a very blessed home. Things are going to be, you know, so whatever's going on with this, it's to create something better for us. It's to create some security for us. It's to create a time for us that actually we feel, uh, we feel like, um, you know, we just feel like everything's going to be okay. It's kind, you know, it's the things are happening in for the betterment for us. And there's a security here. Okay, there's a blessing with this energy. There's, you know, loving home, loving family, loving good job, all these things. Um, you know, with how everything is, I'm, I'm going to go with that this is just saying, do not be afraid. Things have to happen the way they have to happen. Things are moving on. Stand firm. You know, all, all will be well. All will be well. <laughs> okay, now, I did go through the fire energy, and I did go through the earth energy. What is left is our Libra, our Libra, our um, Aquarius, and our Gemini. And remember, there's things going on. Gemini has Mars. Mars is in Gemini. Mercury will be going into Libra, and we have Saturn in Aquarius right now. So those are our air energies. That's about strategic thinking, making plans. It's also about hearing news. And that is our swords energy. So we have our rods, we have our pentacles, we have our swords. And then we have our cups. Our cups is our water energy, which, which is, you know, we have our Scorpio, which the south node is in Scorpio right now. Scorpio and Pluto have a lot of connection with each other too. The Pluto right now is in Capricorn. There is about the rising of the, you know, rising from the ashes, the phoenix energy, you know, you know, having to tear things down in order for them to be built up. Um, the south node is more or less about your past and coming to grip with that. So there is that Scorpio energy. Um, it's Pisces. We have Neptune retrograde in Pisces right now. Dreamy uh, things, you know, things are hap things, things that we wish for, things that we want, maybe even secret things. And then we have Cancer. And it is about our, you know, that is our emotional, spiritual, and fluid type of energy. So I've said that now, so I shouldn't have to say it too much when I do the readings. Anyway, take a moment, please. So the, it, it's going to be interesting. Um, you know, back up your data and, you know, make sure your batteries are charged, all those things. And I hope that I'm wrong with that. I just feel that some, something's in the air and it's coming down to the earth. Okay. Anyway, please take a moment to like, share, subscribe, Click on the bell for notifications, and let's start our readings now. Bye-bye.